Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of urinary bladder calculus that got impacted after voiding. A 55 years old male patient came with difficulty in voiding. He had complained for getting stuck during voiding. This happened several times in last few days. The patient was sent to us for evaluating the urinary system as well as the postvoidal residue. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see we have checked the pre-voidal urinary bladder. The bladder wall looks quite smooth. Pre-voidal volume was around 390 milliliter. You can also see a bright echogenic structure casting faint acoustic shadow from this image located at the dependent part of the urinary bladder lumen. Let's see that on real time. Here you can see this hyper echogenic structure casting acoustic shadow at the dependent part of the urinary bladder lumen. It is definitely a urinary bladder calculus or vesicle calculus. We have magnified the image and you still can see this hyper echogenic structure within the urinary bladder lumen. Now you can see this is the acoustic shadow. We have put the color Doppler and you can see the twinkling artifact posted to this stone. On the right image you can see the stone measures around 15 mm. Here is another image of the calculus. You can see the postreacoustic shadow on grayscale and twinkling artifact on color Doppler. Here is another image of this stone. If you have the 3D ultrasound facility, then you obviously should use 3D ultrasound to evaluate the luminal structures. It will be a good way to practice 3D a lot. My machine didn't have a volumetric transducer, but I have used the regular curvilinear one and moved the probe manually to get a 3D image. This may not be as good as the volumetric transducer one, but it is usable. Here you can see the three-dimensional image and let's magnify it. Here is the three-dimensional image of the urinary bladder calculus within the lumen. Now we have sent the patient to void and he complained of getting stuck at the mid part of voiding again. So we have checked his postvoidal condition and you can see the postvoidal residue is around 50 ml. But we can't see the stone at the dependent part right now. So what's going on? Let's see on real time. Here's the real time image, and you can see this is the hyperechogenic structure casting faint acoustic shadow. But right now, it is seen at the prostate level. Actually, this is the prostatic part of the urethra where the stone has got impacted during voiding. And the image on longitudinal section and you can see this is the prostate, this is the prostatic urethral area and you can see the hyperechogenic structure has got impacted at the proximal prostatic urethra. Here is the transverse and longitudinal section and you can see the hyperechogenic stone has got impacted at the prostatic urethra. Here is another image of the longitudinal section and you can see the stone has got impacted at the prosthetic part of the urethra. So in summary, a bright echogenic structure casting acoustic shadow on grayscale and twinkling artifact on color Doppler and moving along the patient's posture changing is noted within the dependent part of the urinary bladder lumen. After voiding, the structure is found to be impacted at the proximal prosthetic urethra. So this features concluded as a case of vesicle calculus which got impacted at the prosthetic urethra during voiding.
Now the take home message. Checking the movement of stone is very important to exclude the impacted state. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.